I'm Sabrina Leslie. I'm a prof in the Michael Smith Biotechnology Labs and the Physics Department at UBC. I just started here in early 2021 as an associate professor. My group is a single molecule biophysics and biotechnology research group and uh, we're working on single molecule imaging tools to help us learn more about biology using expertise from physics. So we're right at the interface between physics, biology, and the health sciences. So why look at single molecules? Everything you experience from the effectiveness of your COVID vaccine to the blue color of the sky uh, ultimately comes from single molecules interacting with one another. In the case of the vaccine, there's a nice lipid particle encasing an mRNA molecule. In the case of the color of the sky, everyone's learned that rally scattering off oxygen molecules leads to dominant blue light that we see. So what we do in our group, as you can see kind of behind me, is we engineer new kinds of instruments and devices, microfluidics, optics. We manipulate little glass flow cells with micro nanofabrication to look at and trap single molecules in different kinds of configurations. So one of those examples is an array, like over here. Um, we fabricate these little wells in glass so we can trap many copies of single DNA molecules or protein molecules or RNA molecules. Um, so I have three kind of parts of my group asking different kinds of questions that fit together in an overall theme of investigating genetic medicines with higher resolution. So one of my teams is looking at questions about how higher order structure of DNA and RNA targets influence molecules from binding those target sites. So how does higher order coiling or how do modifications to the sequence of a probe or the target uh, folding influence these really detailed and important binding events. And then another part of my group is looking specifically at classes of drugs made of DNA. So using the same tools and actually studying therapies at high resolution. One of those examples is antisense oligonucleotides where the therapeutic molecule binds to an RNA target and that enables an enzyme to cleave a specific gene that might be a pathological one. And then the third part of my group is studying the carriers, the lipid particles that carry those molecules into cells. So the overall way that this work comes together is we're really kind of an imaging, high resolution biophysics group trying to look from the scale of single molecules, so developing tools to look at untethered, uh, high throughput, many copies of molecules in solution, looking at them then entering cells and finally targeting tissues. And we've relocated into a very biotech biology environment so we can bring physics to these systems with many collaborative interactions. We're a very interdisciplinary team and we are looking for a few new grad students to join our team who's just moved from Montreal to Vancouver this fall. So if you're interested, do feel free to reach out to me. Love to talk with you. Thank you.